Yo, what's going on guys? It's Phantom. Welcome back to another video. And today we're here with Dolphin Emulator. Man, let's get straight into it. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. You know what you're here for uh, to play Wii games on computer. So, first thing you're going to do is download the software. Link in the description below. Just download the newest version. When you download it, it's going to be in a zip file. Just unzip it using a program like 7-Zip or just normally. And you should get a folder here. Just launch Dolphin EXE. And now you should be inside of the program. All right, first thing we're gonna wanna do is just set up everything and then we'll talk about it, you know, the games. Let's go to the config. Let's go to general. You can enable cheats if you want. So but personal preference, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it on, you know, me personally, but okay. Uh, and also dual core, it's a little faster. Some of these settings depends on how fast your computer is. If it can't handle it, then that's tough. But uh, you should be able to hopefully handle a Wii game, I would hope. You could change the theme if you want, it just changes uh, how it looks up here. You know, I like the clean blue look, you know. Audio. When it comes to audio, I keep it at very low. Uh, I recommend like 5% audio because it's really loud, the games, at least for me, on my headphones. You know, these professional studio great, but okay. Over here, and interface, you're going to want mouse cursor visibility to be on never. I mean, it just gets in the way when you're uh, playing a game, unless the game requires it, kind of, like you need to move your mouse a lot. I just don't put it on, I don't like it. Of course, if you have a computer that can't really, uh, it's not that good and maybe it, it, you're running the game and it's really slow, you could change with some of these settings. Like it might be better to do a different CPU option or uh, I don't know if you're gonna wanna overclock your CPU, but that is an option. It, it could ha have some wear and tear on your hardware. Uh, same thing with memory. Let's move on to graphics. I'm trying to keep this relatively short and for you guys just to get straight into it. And for us not to be sitting here for 50 minutes. In general, I'm leaving everything the same except V-Sync. And I don't know why that's not on. That should be on. And V-Sync just makes everything look better. Everything else I leave the same. I put on full screen like you just saw. And in enhancements, I put it on my 1080p. Just my monitor's resolution. If you have 4K, 14 foot, whatever monitor resolution you have, you could put it on that. In advanced, I did put show FPS on just to make sure. It tells me at the top how my game is running. And it's just, it's just good for me to know. Now, moving on to controllers. I have, there's two ways of doing this one. You've got your keyboard, mouse, and controller. Those are the two methods I have right now set up because I don't have anything else like a actual Wii controller to use. Uh, if you guys do, you could. You should change this to a real Wii remote and you could use that. I'm gonna show you guys keyboard and mouse first and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on controller. Really quick, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like on keyboard and mouse. So if you're doing a Wii game, you're gonna wanna configure a Wii game, of course. So uh, Wii remote. And if you're doing GameCube game, you're gonna wanna configure it for a GameCube. So in my case, I'm doing a Wii game, I'm gonna play Mario. And over here, we have all these buttons and everything like that. I, I set it up so I have space for jump. That just feels natural to me. That's how games on PC really are. You just jump with space. And I have B on my first mouse click. And for the side mouse clicks, I have three and four set up for one and two buttons. And yeah, you kind of get the point. You just set this up how you want it. And for the D-pad, I just set it up for my little uh, arrow keys. And yeah, that's kind of the basis here. Now for motion simulation, this is when you start shaking the Wii remote. Uh, I set this also on a click, so it just shakes. Then there's also the, the nunchuck shake, which you could set up, which I put on my middle mouse button. Uh, in case I need a nunchuck shake. You can also set up if you're gonna swing or tilt. But let's just say for example, I just put it on like one and two. Uh, if you actually hit the buttons, it shows you right here what it's doing. You set this up how you want it. I have it on uh, X and Z for this. It's just closer to my WASD to move around. You can use your D-pad or use WASD to move around in the game. That's like already set up. But yeah guys, that's it. You can save this as a profile if you want. You type something in, you save it, and then you could just always load it later, like I have right here. This is how you're gonna do it with a controller. So make sure the device is of course selected right here. So if I wanna set up buttons like A, which I'm just gonna probably just do it for the normal button, I'm just gonna hit A on my controller. So basically with your mouse, you just wanna tap on one of these spots and then on your controller, you're gonna enter the input. So for one, I don't have really anything on here that just says one. Uh, so I'm probably gonna do X or Y. Uh, for a minus, I could just use the minus on here. Same thing plus here. And then D-pad, I could of course configure pretty nice. Just all D-pad here. So yeah, that's how you would do it with a controller. So we have everything set up. Now we just want to get into games. So the first thing we're going to do here is uh, double click. It should navigate you to the dolphin section. If it doesn't, just go, go over to it. And yeah, you're going to want to create a folder here, which I already did. It's called games. And uh, you could do that as well by just right clicking, going to, I believe, new, new folder. Yeah, new folder. 
and you could just create a game a folder called games uh, i already did it of course so i'm not going to do it here and then once you've created that folder you're just going to want to select it and hit select folder now obviously if you don't have any games inside of the folder nothing's going to show up uh, so you're going to want to just put your games inside of that folder and yeah it's all going to show up here so yeah just to be a little bit more clear about this if you selected the folder before you put any games in it and then uh, and then you put your games inside of the folder you're going to have to uh, probably refresh this and or maybe restart the program for the games to actually appear just so you guys know um or even reselect it just hit open and select it again just in case you guys are having any trouble with that but now let's uh, let's try playing the game so we're just going to double click here it's going to open the game let's go so yeah it loaded up nice i think you could play with multiple people if you have somebody with you they could play on the other remote that's why you could set up multiple uh, so that's really cool now here's the thing with online play i don't think you could because I, I don't think wii games are built for online as in i think they discontinued it unless you figure out like some hack to do it uh, i don't think you could just do it normally yeah, let me just show you how the game performs you can see my fps on the top right and it, that should always remain close to 60. But yeah i mean uh, i've been just playing with my keyboard and mouse and it works really well uh, it might take some adjusting too uh, if you use a controller, it's probably a little easier to adjust to, but I already adjusted to keyboard and mouse. I like it way better. One thing I am going to say, if you, uh, use cheats, uh, your game could have unexpected crash. The game could have unexpected crashes if you, if you use cheats, just so you know. Hey guys, that's basically it. Um, hopefully this video helped you. I made a video about this about two years ago, um, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to make an updated version and I hope hope this was more useful because there were some people having problems in the last one so uh yeah hopefully i was more clear if you guys have any problems whatsoever leave in the comments down below i'll try to help you all right guys i'll see you in the next one peace out oh yeah wait wait wait. if, if you want to leave the game don't do what i just did and just quit i just did it because i was mad but <laughs> uh you should save the game before you just quit it just so you know and to quit it it's just escape but yeah just so you guys know all right peace <laughs>